the body will attack materials. It's a very corrosive environment. It's a very oxygenated environment. It is a very hydrolytic environment. So to get a material to last for 10 to 15 years under those kind of conditions is quite remarkable. Silicone polyurethanes are both considered polymers. They are different kinds of polymers. A silicone is a soft, pliable polymer that does very well in chemical situations. So um, anything that is corrosive, such as in the body, um, and that needs electrical isolation, silicone is a very good material for that. However, it's not mechanically the strongest material. Polyurethane, on the other hand, is a very strong mechanical material, but chemically, if not used correctly, can be susceptible to chemical degradation. So what we do is we use silicone in the areas that it really uh, amplifies its strengths, and we use polyurethane where it really amplifies its strengths, and we minimize both of the areas where they're susceptible to weakness or breakdown. In the Quattro design, we have a stiffer overlay material in the skeletal area that helps protect it against the bones and the skeletal muscle and the can abrasion. However, in the intracardiac space, we change to a different outer material so it's more flexible. There are hundreds of silicones out in the marketplace for a variety of reasons. It's one of the most popular polymers in the world. However, uh, silicone is very particular about where it's used and how it's used. So for us to be successful in our silicones, we choose the silicone for the application and that means right down to the actual physical design of the lead. So for our leads, we have different silicones on different lead models because the lead models themselves are different. So the Quattro has a specific silicone for Quattro and our other leads have specific silicones for those leads. So we boutique our silicone for that particular design. And then because Medtronic has extensive polymer knowledge, we then know how to enhance those properties to make them even more robust for the in vivo environment. So the fact that Quattro's last 10 years proves that the materials that were selected and the type of materials that were selected and the processing of those materials that were uh, performed on for Quattro uh, is very successful. You have a lead 5076 that has a Medtronic proprietary silicone. That, by the way, was the very first polymer ever made for pacing lead over 15 years ago that has millions implanted. The most popular pacing lead in the history of cardiac business. And you have Quattro, which is now the longest surviving highest reliability high voltage lead. This is something to be very proud of.